Hey, it's Michelle again. Welcome to my kitchen in Easley, South Carolina. Today we're going to be making a delicious dessert. Simple, easy, quick, not hard to make. It's going to look very plain. Uh, at first, the eye, as you look closer, you're going to find that there's secret ingredients involved that are just going to make it come alive in your mouth and your taste buds are going to advance a jig. What we're going to do is chocolate and cream cheese covered marshmallows. We're going to mix chocolate chips with cream cheese and a little bit of sweetened condensed milk. Really, really good sweet bite that's going to go in your mouth. We're going to combine these together, dip our marshmallows in them, and then we're going to make a cream cheese whipped topping. We'll also be melting some white chocolate to just drizzle over the top of it. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take half of our white chocolate we're just going to break it into pieces and we're going to place it into a pot that's in a double boiler. We've got some water boiling underneath. I've got this turned down now so that we can let it heat up slowly because in the meantime we're going to be melting our main ingredient that's going to go over the marshmallow. And this is going to be our chocolate with cream cheese and sweetened condensed milk. We've got about um, a half of a bag. It's about four ounces of smooth sweet chocolate chip morsels water is boiling underneath. Then we're going to add in two tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk. Mmm, it's already smelling good. And we're going to stir this in together and we're going to put in a half of a stick of Philadelphia brand cream cheese. That's four ounces. Look at how well that cream cheese is melting down inside of that chocolate. It's really becoming creamy and just the perfect thinness that you want. You don't want it too thin or it's just going to fall off, but you don't want it too thick or you'll never get it to sit properly on your marshmallows. There's a little bit of muscle involved in this dish, but trust me, it's worth it. So now that we have that good and ready, I'm going to bundle it all up in a corner over here and we're going to get our marshmallows. This is a very simple, very easy trick. Just going to take the marshmallow, dip it halfway down, pull it out, and there you go. Just going to set it right there on the counter, on the tray. Let's do another one. Perfect. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, now we've got some marshmallows plated up with some chocolate on them. Let's drizzle a little bit of that white uh, chocolate that we melted on top of it. Then we'll make our icing and decorate these. Okay, our white chocolate is melting down really good. And what you're looking for is a consistency where when you shake your spatula straight across, you're going to get some drizzling just like that. Let's go ahead and take some of this over here. We're just going to drizzle it right on there. You're not trying to get too much or too little, just a little bit for pretty. And add a different flavor onto the top of it. Got to make sure it's good and hot. Now we're going to make our frosting to go on top, our icing that's going to go on the top of our marshmallows. We're going to use four ounces, which is a half a stick of Philadelphia brown cream cheese. We're going to use an entire tub of whipped topping. We're going to use one cup of confectioner sugar, powdered sugar as we call it in the South and one teaspoon of imitation vanilla. First I'm going to stir this in to try and get some the sugar to keep from shooting out when I blend it all together. Get it mixed in with that whipped topping. And then we're going to take it to the blender. And now that we've got that sugar mixed in, we're going to blend in and break up that cream cheese just for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. On low. We're going to blend on high for two to three minutes and whip this up really good. Okay, 
now we've got our frosting ready to be put onto the marshmallows. So, we're just going to put it in a regular sandwich bag. Just scrape a little in there, pull it together, and you're just going to zip the top of it across to make sure you've got a good seal. Take a pair of scissors and just cut a, a, just a tiny little piece along the bottom. Just like that. Okay, now that we've got it in our bag, let's try piping this on here. Make a pretty little topping. There we go. The kids love this. I have three children. They are eight six and five and they absolutely love this dessert. This is one of their favorites. It's easy for me to make. It looks like I did a whole lot more work than I did. It tastes like I did a whole lot more work than I did and it's pretty. I actually let them put their own toppings on when we're ready to do the topping. Uh-oh. There's collateral damage. Let me finish that one off. There we go. Let's put that one back down. Okay, now for the adults, you could put anything like uh, some slivered almonds on top, just for some good flavor. For the children, they love little chocolate chips, little chocolate sprinkles. Also, you could do colored sprinkles on top. Really cute for a birthday party. And there you have it. Beautiful marshmallow dessert. It takes about 20 minutes, and when you're done, it takes about two seconds to devour. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoy this. Try it at home. It doesn't take long and it's really, really delicious.